WoW Classic Hardcore Leveling Tier List. We're going to start on the top with the easiest one to level, then going to slowly move down all the way to the D bracket with the hardest class to level. We're going to go with the first one for today, and this is going to be the Paladin. Recently, I leveled the Paladin all the way to 46 in the Hardcore Challenge, and 1 to 30 was quite easy to level. I didn't encounter any problems all the way until 46, which gave me the illusion that Paladin is quite easy to level. It's not necessarily an illusion. The problem with the Paladin is that it gets boring over time. 1 to 30 can be quite easy because you get a lot of weapon upgrades, you get a lot of cool spells such as Seal of Command, uh, extra movement speed from talents, maybe some couple of critical strike uh, chance points. But after level 30, it becomes slow and boring, which might make you make stupid decisions, die and not reach 60. Moving on to the next one, it's going to be a rogue. The rogue I leveled already one to level 60. Uh, it's quite an easy class to level, in my opinion. I give it the S rank because if you level it correctly with a combat spec, and if you pick early repost at level 20, there's nothing stopping you to reach 60. The hardest levels for the rogue, it's one to 30 because you early on, you don't have the poisons, you don't have banish, you don't have cheap shot, you don't have kidney shot, and you don't have obviously uh, blind, which comes at 34. One to 30 is going to be harder, but pay a bit of attention. You have a bit um, of uh, patience. You're going to be able to overcome the one to 30. And especially now with the official hardcore being able to use the auction house is going to allow you to get probably some upgrades when it comes to some leather armor or some swords to be able to keep yourself alive until level 30. Once you get all your tool set with the rogue from level 40 to 60, it shouldn't be any problems. You should uh, get to 60 quite easy. Moving on, the next one is going to be the warlock. Warlock goes straight into the B bracket. And I know you guys say, well, whoa, 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 wait a minute. The warlock should be an S tier leveling because of all the pets and all the stuff. Based on some recent data, Warlock is the least popular class in the classic hardcore journey. The least level 60s, people uh, give up too early on them and they die. And that's because Warlock is quite a complicated class. And if you don't have the knowledge of playing a Warlock, it can be quite um, complicated. Basically, Warlock, imagine a Warlock being a, a class with multiple personalities, right? You can play a Warlock Affliction, you can play it with uh, an Imp, you can play it with a Succubus, you can play it with... Uh, Voidwalker, which would be probably a safe uh, option to to play it with a Voidwalker. You make wands, you do dots, and then you send the pet in. Um, you wand the mob down. It's quite easy and simple by the book, but a lot of people choose the Warlock and make a, a big mess out of it. So uh, not a lot of Warlocks end up being uh, at max level. Uh, when I was leveling other characters, we could barely find Warlocks at level 40 to 50 to do Mara or Zulfarak or uh, Uldaman. And that's uh, why the Warlock gets a B. I don't see that many at level 60. Moving on, the Mage, the Mage class. <laughs> I leveled already two Mages to 60. One in a Season of Mastery. I died, unfortunately, in Stockades with him. And one recently on uh, Hydraxian Waterlords. <laughs> Mage is literally the easiest class by far. It should be before the Rogue here if you can do it like this. If you go Frost and you focus on single target because there's two different mages. There's the mage that is chaotic and pulls uh, AoE packs. That's that's not going to be easy to level with the AoE packs because something can go wrong quite easily. But if you focus on getting uh, improved Frostbolt, uh, Frost Nova, you get the Shatter combo from Talents, maybe some uh, Frostbite, you should go from 1 to 60 without even breaking a sweat. In my opinion, by far the easiest class, but I might be biased because I play a lot of them. Uh, moving on from the mage, we're going to have the hunter. The hunter is going to be... Oh, I want to put it an A or a B. I want to be generous today. I'm going to give the hunter an A, although most people would think it's an S class. The same uh, rules that apply to the warlock apply to the hunter. Hunter is easy to play, but hard to master. So a lot of people make a lot of these uh, mistakes. They don't know how to manage their pet. They don't um, necessarily know how the, the faint death mechanics work. And uh, faint death resists quite a lot. I've seen a lot of hunters dying at uh, even high levels. It's one of the most played classes because whenever someone asks what class should they play in hardcore, which is the easiest one, people always give a, an answer, the hunter, the hunter. But it's the second 
class with the most deaths so far. Out of 100,000 deaths that have been recorded in a classic hardcore so far, Hunter is number two with about 16,000 or even more deaths. Easy, but the problem with being easy, it's because it gets you overconfident, right? Pet is strong, you are strong, you are able to kite, you wear mail. You put yourself into situations where a class like that it's harder to level would not put themselves into those situations. You wouldn't solo an elite. But since you're playing a hunter, well, why not? Let's do it. So this is the disadvantage of the easy class, is that you are willing to try things that a class uh, that is uh, slightly less uh, enthusiastic would not try. Moving on, we have the little priest, which I'm going to put it next to his brother. The warlock, similar gameplay. It's basically make wands early on, you pick like enchanting, you make the level 5 wand, you make the level 13 wand. They're really important because you have a talent point where you get extra damage with wands, like all the way up to 25% or even more, I think. it's. Uh, you get wands easy, uh, first from enchanting, then from dungeons such as uh, DFD. And the gameplay is mostly dot and wand. It's quite boring, I would say, but some people like this type of gameplay. It's relaxing. It helps them do multitasking and so on. So I guess it's a matter of preference. The priest has shields. They have fear like the warlock fear. It's kind of a chaotic spell for hardcore. I wouldn't use this too often. Only in situations where you actually need it. Because it can pull mobs from the side and uh, get you killed. I, it's not like the mage. You don't have a lot of abilities to get your mana back. You don't have a vacation. You don't have mana gems. So if you run out of mana, you have to be very careful. If you run out of mana and you have like one or two mobs on you you risk uh, on dying. I would give it an A as well, but um, I think B is perfect for them. Moving on to the Shaman. Shaman will get a C. There has been a lot of discussion in the classic uh, hardcore community if Shaman or Warrior is um, the hardest to level. The difference between uh, the Shaman and the Warrior is that the Warrior wants, the warrior gets into level 40 and so on, gets abilities like... Uh, mortal strike he gets extra five percent crit he gets like weapons from uh whirlwind axe and uh, bone bite and so on and the warrior gets way more power in the late levels however the shaman has power in the early levels but gets slower and slower in the late levels 40 to 60 for a shaman could be a nightmare uh, i give it a c it has a lot of tools it could be fun to play you have ghost wolf you have totems you have heals you have shocks which can slow, which can interrupt and so on. In theory, it should be higher than C. In reality, it's not that great. We don't have a huge batch of shamans that uh, leveled so far because in the past, the classic hardcore community was more popular in the Alliance. But recently, a lot of influx of Horde players came because the official servers will be released. And I think we'll see more from shamans. Uh, from now, they only get a C in our bracket. Moving on to the Druid. Druid is also be between A and B. I think I'm going to put it on B here. I tried to level a Druid. I died a couple of times at early levels. Basically, once you spawn into the starting area, you spam Wrath and you do damage with the, the stuff. It's really painful. All the way to 10. Actually, scratch that. All the way to level 20 until you get like the cat form. It's... I mean, probably there will be some uh, skilled druids in the comments that will roast me because uh, for us, you just don't know how to play the druid, but it's it's really bad. And even once you get to level 20, you get like a cat form, you're not going to be strong as a rogue. You're not going to have the evasion. You're not going to have the blade flood. You're not going to have like the insane burst that comes from the weapon damage and sinister strike and so on. You're going to be like half of a rogue, half of a caster, half of a healer. So um, I've seen a lot of people playing the druid, especially Grace for days, and he died multiple times. Skilled the druid, he died multiple times in the hardcore challenge playing a druid. However, I think it might, might be fun if druid is your cup of tea, just pick it and get it to 60. At 60 you can tank and so on. Uh, moving on, the last character, and obviously warrior is going to get uh, the least but not last, or how do you put it here? Because although it looks like a D tier, the war warrior, it's hard to level, yes. I, I think I got one, one warrior to 60 on Blood Cell Buccaneers. I lost one to 57, a couple of them to 40 to 45, or even 46, and a couple of them to 30. It was always a challenge to level the warrior. You don't have abilities to escape, like a blink or a sheep or a fear or a, a gouge or a vanish or a sprint. 
the warrior, you are there and you have to finish what you started. Sometimes you pull two or three mobs and that is going to be the end of you. It is definitely more fun to play than the other classes. I wouldn't say more fun than the mage or the rogue or the hunter because they're better designed classes and they have more in the toolbox. More fun in terms of that it's more challenging and sometimes challenging things can be more fun if you look at the bigger picture, right? Your heart will beat uh, faster when you play hardcore with a warrior. Uh, you, you will have more adrenaline when you play hardcore with a warrior. And uh, overall, specifically for the hardcore challenge, I think warrior can be quite fun to play. However, really hard to level. I think if you play, compare a Frost Mage versus a Warrior, the chances of leveling to 60 for the first time a Frost Mage are three times higher compared to a Warrior, maybe even more. Make sure to leave a like if you enjoyed the video and subscribe as well, because in the future we're going to have uh, more uh, hardcore videos before the launch of hardcore. With that being said, let me know in the comments down below if you agree with this tier list. Probably you will not. <laughs> but this is uh, based on my experience and I leveled so far five characters to level 60 in the hardcore challenge, different characters, and a couple of them to 46, 40, and 1 to 30 multiple times. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Stay frosty. Bye-bye!